Okay, so I had an encounter today of a very unholy kind. And I had to tell the person that they weren't being holy. I'm like, be ye holy as our Father in heaven. And then they repeated the verse. When I whipped out the sword, that's when I got things under control. It had almost become physical. Well, it did become physical for a little bit. The person bumped me with their body trying to intimidate me. I bumped them back with my body. You're not going to intimidate me, number one. So since they saw they could not intimidate me, then I they, they took out their little key that they had in their hand, fixing it to as a weapon. And I'm like, okay, I could use that against the person, but we squashed it. I'm grown. I know how to squash things. That's not my way. That's not my character. So um, they, they just like to accuse the accusations, the way they think is just so beyond my comprehension as to why a person should think so the main thing is the person thinks like somebody's right or wrong somebody's lying or not and i'm like it sometimes things just are you know it's not that anybody's right or wrong it just is and i'm like okay if um we're not agreeing i'm not saying you are wrong and i'm right i'm not saying you are right and I'm wrong. I'm not going to agree to those because I don't think like that. I don't believe like that. It's something actually that happened months ago. Things are settled and handled. So why are we even talking about it? Just leave it alone. So then it comes down to, you know, so I um, talked to them about being holy, about not, you know, acting like a devil and um, when I whipped out that sword and um, be ye holy as I am holy, whip that out, that started to calm things down. But I did see in initially how the enemy tried to block my cell phone. The enemy tried to block my cell phone. I couldn't get in my phone to get the information. When I realized what's wrong with my phone, my phone is not acting up and wasn't acting up before. I said, ah, it's the enemy. So I said, I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus, you will not block my phone. And I said, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Get off my phone. And all of a sudden, my phone just started acting properly. I was able to get retrieve the information that I needed. Um, but then that wasn't still wasn't good enough because the person was already heated over. And so finally, I'm like, so, you know, just kind of talked on why do you think like that? Why, you know, what's going on? And they tried to explain that they act like that with everybody. That's how they think. That's, you know, and I'm like, well, that's not good, you know. And then it came down to that their thinking is that they trying to get somebody before that person gets them. I'm like, who's them? Who's out to get you? You know, who are they? Why is anybody, why is everybody out to get you? People don't think like that. I'm like, nobody's coming for you. Get them first, you know, before they get me. Who's walking around thinking that they are trying to get you? And then finally, I'm just like, why do you think like that? You know, where does this stuff come from? Why? So I just started asking why questions. The Holy Spirit put in me to ask them why and just say why, why, why. And they had no reason, no answer as to why, but it caused them to think. They're like, you know what? I really don't know why. And I'm like, okay. But those questions put questions in their mind so they could start thinking and gave the Holy Spirit something to water and to work with. And so I was not a little proud, proud of bumping them back, but, you know, because vengeance is mine, I shall repay, saith the Lord. But I was able to diffuse the situation with my sword and just bringing up, be ye holy, you know, and they knew the verse and that cut through that demonic, uh, that cut through that demon that was in them and on them and trying to make a create a bad situation. So I just wanted to share that and to share how I got out of a negative situation with my sword and tried to maintain some level of holiness and decency in the face of problems. I hope you can't see this. These um, things keep coming up on my screen. Um,